Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am going to try another video because the other one went up. So um, one of the things I have recognized in being able to upload my videos is um, the amount of items, the amount of writing or information I give you in the description box. If I give more than like, I don't know, a thousand words uh, or a thousand, you know, letters, um, it takes forever to upload. Um, so that said, there are some design teams that I'm on that like you to list all of the design team members. I'm going to try and continue to do that because this video only took an hour and a half to upload. The the one before this only took an hour and a half to upload. So um, I'm going to try and continue to do that. If it becomes an issue where I do a video, say for more than 30 minutes, then I won't be putting as much information in the description box so that my videos can upload faster. My husband upgraded our internet so that might help as well. Um, the um, internet company that we're with offered us uh, faster, you know, we it just came out. So I'm sure there's bugs. I'm sure there's things that, you know, they're working on, um, but it is supposed to be faster uh, Wi-Fi. That said, that might help as well. I literally took my phone when I started uploading and um, put it right next to my router. Fortunately, my router is in my craft room, so that really helps. I'm going to tip this just a little bit to make sure that we are level. Because the more editing I do, the longer it takes to um, uh, upload the video as well. So, today, <laughs> I have some pretties on my desk. I've got my little tray here. If I lift it up, you can see that I just keep adding to it, but all it is is a leaf. And originally I had some um, pieces of, you know, snippets left and little letters and little pictures. Um, and as I've been moving along, <laughs> there, there it was and here it is. So um, yeah, it's gotten a little out of hand. I'm going to have to go through that. Um, decorating a journal for me is just so much fun. I pull so many things um, and I do a lot of auditioning. So for the sake of this video, I did my auditioning first <laughs> and put my pieces together. So, um, and I think that that's best because, you know, you don't want to sit here for four hours while I try and figure out what I want where. Because, you know, sometimes that that is my, um, it's my favorite part, but it's also the part that takes me the longest. So, um, in any event, um, I wanted to show you some ways you can kind of zhuzh up what you already made. And if you can recall, or if you saw the video prior to this, we made this over the book page flip, you know, over the journal flip. And I had left you off with what, you know, just this little doily. And I said I was going to attach this little envelope. So what I did was I put a button on the envelope, which, you know, that zhuzhes it up right there. I put a little piece of lace here. I put these flowers here, and then I tucked this little, you know, writing spot envelope here. I did not like the way this looked here, so I just took a piece of my washi that I made and I put it there. So yeah, and then that just tucks in there. And now you have an over the book page flap. And on the back, um, oh, let me just get my punch. This is another way to zhuzh it up. And I, I wanted to do it with you on camera. So um, let me just get my punch. Hold on real quick. Sorry about that. I just realized it when um, I turned it over <laughs> that I was saving it for you guys. So this is just a picture I took of something that somebody sells. And um, 
So it's not something I made. It's just a picture of something um, somebody sells. And I backed it with some tea stain paper. You can't see the stitching on the camera here, but you can see it on the back. So all I'm going to do to judge this up a little bit and make it look pretty is I'm going to add a ribbon, which is right here. And it probably looks pink to you, uh, white to you on the camera, but it is a very pale pink um, organza ribbon. And I'm just going to put it through here. And this really does, I mean, just ribbon to me makes such a big difference. So I'm gonna put it through like that. And now I'm gonna tie a bow because I mean, you know, I'm a girl and I'm such a girl. <laughs> did, you, did you notice? <laughs> How are you all today? It's raining and it's windy. So my plants are in the garage, uh, you know, what plants I have left. Um, they're in the garage. The neighbors have, you know, tried to get as much brush and metal and things like that, you know, off sidewalks and stuff. It's It's been a busy day. It's been a real busy day. So, yeah, Tropical Storm Nicole is on its way. I have not watched the weather, nor do I want to watch the weather. So, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's not a hurricane. <laughs> But even a thunderstorm makes me nervous. So there you go. You've got this cute little bow. And um, I don't like tying bows on camera because I just don't do it very well. And I'm just going to pull this and pull this to make it smaller because it is a little bit too big and I don't want to take away from the picture. But I do want to turn it up more like that. And then I'm just going to take a pair of scissors And then I'll just snip it about there and snip it about there. And now put it in my pocket and look at the difference once you put this in your pocket in the back. Cute, right? It just makes it so much cuter. And then um, I had a word, oh, here it is. I'm gonna put this word down here that says lovely. And this came with the kit. <clears throat> so this is a way that you can, you know, make something really pretty out of just some, you know, a simple picture out of a magazine or a book or something from the kit that you're working on. It really doesn't matter. And I'm actually not going to even put this on all the way around. I'm going to use it as a little tuck spot for something really sweet. So there'll be um, there'll be, uh, a little pocket here, and then, um, I'll have a little pocket using the tag, <coughs> excuse me, using this as, um, a wet, you know, something, you can put something in there too, you know, maybe a couple of sentiments, words, you know what have you. But now the back of my over the book page, because you're going to see the back as well as you're going to see the front. So you don't want just the front to be pretty because, you know, you want the backs of your things to look pretty too. That's just a suggestion, not something you have to do, just something that I do. And um, so now doesn't it look so much different? And there's the back, and I'll put something in here as well. Put a little bow here. So on both sides now, my over the book page flap um, is going to look so much prettier. So there's one down. And then um, here's another one I did. Now I did this off camera with one of my homemade doilies, which do I have any over here? Yes. It's probably the same one. No, it's not, but it's one of these. And I just put that, you know, over it. And um, I collaged in here and put some, um, whatever that paper's called. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, ledger. Oh my goodness. You know, and just had some embossed wallpaper and that. 
This is from a digital from um, Jennifer at Tracy Sparkle. This is her fall kit. And um, just this little piece right here that you see. And then some ledger. And then I have a little pocket here. And then this is from Jennifer's kit too or Tracy Sparkle. I just put three of the bows there and um, put some stickles around the edges. Now what I'm going to do is, because the, it's going over the page, so I want to add something to the back of this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this up because I don't think that's completely dry. Um, I'm just going to take and do something really pretty on the back. So I'm going to add this here. And that way you can still write on it right there as well if you wanted to. Um, so I'm going to just take this piece. I have a whole bunch of these pieces in here. I might take a thinner piece. Yeah, let me just take a thinner piece. And it's just some embossed, you know, paper. Every time I have a scrap, as soon as I have the scrap, I run it through my embossing machine. I have it right beside me on a cart. So when I have scraps, I emboss them. And you know what? Some of them might get thrown away, but... I have awesome anyway. I mean, in the end, they might get thrown away. I doubt it. I don't throw any embossing paper away because there's always a use for it. Always. So, um, yeah. So, I'm just going to put this here. Along this edge. And it just, you know, I'm just trying to t show you different ways to make things look pretty without having to do anything expensive. And then um, I'll just cut off this piece and I won't throw it away. I mean, you know, I might be able to use that little piece or something. So I've done that. Let's make sure I'm gluing at the top here. And you don't have to use arcuated glue. I, I, I don't even know why I picked that up because <laughs> I hardly ever use it but glue stick will work perfectly fine. I usually don't even glue the whole thing. I just usually glue the edges, but. So we did that, and then I thought this would be cute. It says pumpkin patch here. So I'm gonna put that down. This doesn't look like I cut straight across, and I think it's because these scissors are bent, or at least that's what I noticed. So let me just trim this straight so there you go and then yep it wasn't dry completely the bow but that's all right that's okay let's take that off so I don't get it on anything else I had just done it and you know stickles and stuff they take time to dry but it didn't ruin my bow at all and I love how the stickles will make it look a little tarnished you know the bow itself because it makes it look more like a piece of jewelry in my opinion you know, it's got a little bit of green. It looks like it's kind of, you know, been tarnished a little bit, like a piece of, you know, old jewelry would do. And then um, down here, I'll just put my little pumpkin patch here. Now for this, I will use this because I need a very thin line because this is going to be a little pocket as well. So what I do is I make kind of my base stuff first and then I go back and I decorate where I feel like I need to. You know, I'll add my laces, I'll add um, buttons, I'll add, um, you know, things like that. So I do like my base work and then, yeah, and then I go back and I zhuzh it up. So I'll put this little tag in here that says crispy leaves, which has a little bit of white on it. And you know me, I have to have everything perfect. So I'll take that little white off. And I'm not going to stick this down anywhere so that the receiver can stick it down wherever they want to stick it down in the book. So this is crispy leaves. And this is a little pumpkin they can use for decorating one of the pages. And I am going to take this scrap and I'm simply going to fold it up like this. 
and fold it up like this and then fold this down over it for a little writing spot and put that in there and there you go so it looks really nice on both sides when you put it over your page it's very thin I only used um, tea stain paper and a doily and um, yeah so it's not gonna it's not going to do anything in your journal to bulk it up so that's the second idea to judge stuff up and that's about oh and then I had this picture that I took a long time ago it's just some things that I I have that um, I you know staged on my dresser and I thought it would be perfect for this journal because it's Autumn Waltz is the name of the kit. And um, this is like, almost like she's getting ready. You know, it's the mirror, the brush, a little doily. So I'm going to back this with some embossed paper just to make it pretty once it goes in the pocket. And that's all I'm gonna do to it because I think it's got enough. I might add a bow, I'm not sure, but at least I have this part done. Just wanna make sure it's right side up. <laughs> and you could even go over it with a little bit of, um, you know, inking if you want to color that up, but I, I won't. I'll stitch it for sure, but that's probably all I will do with this picture. And you can get pictures out of books, magazines, or what have you. I send a lot of my pictures. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, I send a lot of my pictures to Shutterfly um, and have them print them into four by fours. They're free. All you have to do is pay for shipping. And it's really great. If you like to take pictures, I'm, I'm a novice, but I have about 4,000 pictures. Here's another one of mine. Let's see. I know I have one in here somewhere. This is the back of a wedding dress. It's my daughter's girlfriend's, so I save it. This is a picture I took for to put on um, Ooh La La Vintage websites um, and maybe on my Etsy, I mean not Etsy, my um, Instagram. This is my journal and I kind of just set it all up and took the picture and I thought, you know, I. I just printed it on regular paper and you know it's really pretty it it's a real pretty tag to go inside a journal this is another one of Doreen's kits um and offhand I can't remember the name of it and that's the journal right there this is a lace snippet I made you know and just it looks pretty so yeah just take pictures <laughs> so there's another tag that I have already so now today I'm gonna to make a few things with you. Um, the first thing I'll make is the easiest thing. And I have this all set up already so that we don't have to waste time. I'm actually just gonna have a sip of my coffee because I definitely need it. <laughs> I did not sleep well at all last night. It was just not a good night. So, here I have one of these Benjamin Moore, you, you know, it's just pinks, you know, color pinks, because we're going to paint my, um, the guest room, which I have, it's very, 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 very shabby chic. Um, lots of laces and whatever. I made the valance and it, I made the the, um, I, I've just made everything. It's got a over a hundred and way over a hundred year old, um, coverlet for, um, the, uh, day bed in there, which is, you know, for the guest room. But I also have my sewing machine in there. I have a lot of laces that I store in there. Excuse me on top of a dresser. So it's really pretty, but we're getting ready to paint the room. And I don't know if I'm going to go with pink, white, excuse me, blue, what? So I've been picking up a lot of paint chips. 
So all I do with these is I will back it first because, you know, you don't want to look at that. And this is just an idea you can do with a paint chip. You know, with those paint chips you can get at any paint store or hardware store, any place like that. And I am, you know, I have to take the paint chip. I have to go outside with it. I have to tape them to the wall. I, I, it takes me a long time to choose paint color because I don't want to do it again. <laughs> so yeah, right now I am taping pinks. Not sure that's what I want to do. The only pink in the room is, um, actually I have a piece of it. I made a valance out of this um, pink and white toile um, fabric. So the valance is this. And then the then I have some shears um, that go all the way to the floor underneath this valance. And um, they're white, but they're white on white. They have a um, really beautiful embroidery on the shear. So I made this for the valance. And um, that's really the only pink in the room. Everything else is, well, I do have some turquoise in there. And then the rest, everything else is white. The daybed's white. The coverlet is white, but it's all pink embroidered. I have an antique quilt on the bed and some pillows. So I think I will probably go with a pink. Not that you care, but I was just telling you. That's why I have all the pink paint chips. And I thought, oh, this will be fun. So I'm just going to put that there. I went down a little bit too far, but that's okay. I'll just snip it off. So this is just file folder. And then I'm going to take and I am going to just snip this off into my wastebasket, which is right here. And then, how am I going to cover up these numbers, you ask? I'm going to take my faux washi that I made on an 8 and a half by 11 piece of sticky paper. And I am going to, let's see, how does, I'm just making sure the writing is going the right way. I see a wider piece. It is. So now I'm just going to peel this off. This is just too simple, but just an idea. So then I peel that off. Here's my washi. And just make sure I'm going to get those numbers and get up against my edge here and just put it down along that edge I didn't go all the way to the top as you can see <laughs> it's hard to decorate on camera I don't know if anybody else has that problem but I'm just gonna tip it over like this so I can see it and make sure I'm going up against my edge and then put it down. And like I said, this is just double-sided sticky tape. And you could do it with the, um, not double-sided sticky tape, double-sided sticky paper, yeah, that you make labels out of. So there's that already. It looks very cute, right? Like, who would know? So then the next thing I'm going to do is I have these words from the kit. It says kisses and smile. It has some French um, words, flowers, kisses. Um, this is in French, leaves, fleurs. So I'm going to take next and I'm going to take kisses. And I think I'll take leaves. Um, I'm going to do all English words, you know, English spelling words, rather than mixing them up and flowers. Like that. So simple, right? Out of a paint chip. So 
So let me just get those on and you can do that with a glue stick. I'm just gonna put this over here, put this over there. Let me get some paper to glue on. Not that one, because that is, this is just a piece of copy paper. So I'm just gonna glue those words on. And you could even run this through your embossing machine before you even glue the words on, which that would be another great idea, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I just need to snip this because I see that there's a little bit of white there. I know that you can't see it in the camera, but I can. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this here. And you could add buttons and, you know, I may before I put it in the book, but you could add buttons to it, lace, you know, pretty much anything to judge it up even more. But this is just my base. This is what I'll start with. How it ends up, it might end up just as simple as this, or I may add other things. But basically what I'm making is a little snippet. I have to take that off because this isn't, this has some white. And I'm really sorry, but I need to turn it this way so I make sure that I'm kind of even, you know, how I'm putting it, because I'm not putting them right in the middle, I'm putting them along the edge like that. And just get that little bit of white off. Looks like I didn't do a very good job fussy cutting. How are y'all doing? How's your weather? <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you believe it? It's after November. Hello. Oh gosh. I get nervous in a thunderstorm. Oh yeah, I have something to tell you for those of you that don't watch Rachel at Roxy Creations or you haven't watched her today. Yesterday I was on Facebook just checking out you know, my, my, um, I don't go on Facebook a lot, but you know, every once in a while I'll go on and just post something or I'll just, you know, check out, check up with my friends and see how they're doing. And I happened to be, you know, just scrolling and I saw, um, a picture and I'm like, Oh, that's odd. That's Rachel's Sydney bag that she sells the pattern for. Rachel from Roxy Creations. And then I, you know, I looked at the company and I'm like, but she sells them on Etsy. I mean, it was exact. So I didn't click on it because, it's, you know, that made me nervous. Um, I just took a snapshot and I sent it to Rachel and I said, you know, I don't know if you've given this company permission or, you know, what's the case, but I just wanted you to know in case you haven't given this company permission that they're using your item. So, and it, it's not a digi, it's a, it's a pattern for a Sydney pouch that she has in her shop. I just need to wash off my hands a little bit here because I have glitter glue on them. So I'm just gonna take some of my hand sanitizer and just wipe these off real quick with a paper towel. It takes off glue and ink and you know, what have you. For, you, for people who don't always follow me, who don't know that that's what I use to get ink and glue off my hands. <laughs> and my mat and my everything else I use. So um, yeah, so getting back to Rachel, so I um, center it and 
evidently it's um, a scam. If you clicked on that and you purchased that, you would have gotten nothing. What they did was they stole the image off of Rachel's Etsy and they made up the company and they um, are selling the pattern on Facebook. If you had clicked on that and purchased that, you would have gotten nothing because they don't have the pattern. The pattern is a digital. And um, yeah, so just be very aware that there's a lot of scammers out there. And Rachel talked about it more in depth today on her, um, on her video. So if you go to her video, she'll explain it a little bit more. I mean, I understand it, but if you don't understand what I'm saying, then yeah, just take a, a quick run over to her channel. Um, but it is a scam and she was very grateful that uh, she had another girl, Karen, um, that also contacted her. And it also happened to um, Joff at Medieval Mirage. Um, somebody also stole her images and actually is making digitals with them. So, yeah, Rachel said, you know, and you know, the funny thing is, is Rachel looked everywhere for the company and she couldn't find it. She said, did you click on it? I'm like, heck no. <laughs> no. Um, I have too many problems already. I'm not going to click on something like that. I mean, I knew it wasn't hers because the company wasn't her company. I mean, it wasn't her Etsy. So, yeah. So anyway, um, don't, yeah. If you see something that you know is somebody else's, don't click on it. Don't buy it. It's just, they're just stealing your money. It really doesn't do anything to reach because um, it doesn't do anything to Rachel because, like I said, yeah, they have her picture, but that's it. They're scamming you. They're not really scamming her. So, because the digital comes with the instructions on how to make it. It comes with the pattern and possibly a video. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So that's that so far. And then I want to put just a little, I want to leave a little bit of writing space for the person who receives this, you know, they can write there, but I do want to put one more thing there. And I think I'll just put this, maybe that, no. Um, that one's too big. Trying to find a littler one. Ooh, this one might work. Yeah, see, I'd have to do something like this. Because, yeah, it's for me, it's like collaging, you know? So I think I am going to do that. I can't just put one there. It kind of looks funny to me. So I'm going to glue this down. This could be a bookmark. This could be just, you know, something that you slip inside a pocket in a, in a journal. Um, yeah, it could be dozens of things. Dozens and dozens. These things are so much fun to work with. You can make tickets out of these. Tickets come out really cute. So I'm just going to kind of put this one here. And I'll put this one here. Yeah, that looks good. Let's put it down a little bit more and then I'll trim off the edges. And that takes care of that. How easy and simple and something so cute with a paint chip. I mean, you've already got something to work with. So, and you know, when you go to the paint store, ask them, 
you know, say, you know, do you have any in back stock? Because a lot of times they'll change up their colors and they're just going to throw things away. You know, if Benjamin Moore stops selling this particular colors, they'll pull them and they just throw them away. So ask. It doesn't ever hurt to ask. Now I'm just going to have to turn that off to make it even at the front and the back. Isn't that adorable? So cute. And the person still has plenty of room to write there. And then, yeah, that's it. And if you wanted to, if you don't like those lines, you could do your faux washi and go across each line like so, which I think I'm going to do. Let's do that. And that will get rid of that white. Or you could have inked it, you know, bent it and inked that edge. But, oh my gosh, this faux washi is so fun. And it's sticky. <laughs> and it lifts, which is nice too. So I'm just going to put this piece here. And I'll just snip it. Pull it a little bit more. I don't want to take the whole piece off because I might want to use some more of it. And I want to keep it on the paper if I don't use it all up on this piece. So see how I'm just pulling off a little bit of the back paper. Put that there. And then I'll put this here. Is that not adorable? I mean, come on. That is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. And I just took my piece of tape off. Hold on. You can put it back on, which is the nice thing. And then I'll just put this back in my dish to use as a piece for another time. And I'll snip this off and just throw that away. So it's just sticky. And what else was I thinking? Oh, I think I will add a bow. Right? Why not? So I'm just going to take my punch. You can get these on Amazon. They're really inexpensive. I love them. Because I don't have to worry about the whole... So I've got you know, a little bit too high on that. Whoa, pay attention. <laughs> that almost cost me a tag, although I could have cut the top, which wouldn't have been a problem. So let me just grab some, I have some here in my lace jar. Or maybe I'll add a piece of this trim. Let me see how it looks. Um... I kind of like that. I really do get away from the pink a little bit and add some a different color. Now what you can do with this, see how it's all ruffled? You can leave it like that or you could take and just cut it off like this. I'm not going to, but if you wanted to flatten it out, you could just cut along that edge and that way it wouldn't be, well, I might take it off. So all you have to do is cut it a little bit. Well, not this one. Sometimes it will just tear right off, but this one isn't going to. So just let me do that. Let me take this off. Oh dear, because it's a little bit too ruffly for a bow. And don't throw the edge away because that makes a really good piece to put together like, um, you know, like a three hole, uh, those postcard journals I make, you know, I just punch the holes and instead of putting rings, you could put this edge 
that you cut your lace off with because it's nice. It's a nice piece. Um, is that long enough? Let me do a little bit more and see where we are because I have one more thing I want to make with y'all. And I'm going to continue this all week. I'll be making ephemera and embellishments and embellishing things that I've made. I'll save it for the video or I'll just video it while I'm doing it. So then I'm just going to take this little piece here and I'm going to put it at the top just to zhuzh it up a little bit more. And it's simple, but it's pretty, you know, my journal is very simple. So it's a writing journal primarily. I mean, it does have some lace, but it's not heavily embellished with laces and trims. I encourage you to visit all the others on the team. They make some amazingly beautiful things. Oh my goodness, all of them. The design team is outstanding. And I'll leave that information in the description box below. I don't care how long it takes to upload. <laughs> as long as it's uploading and not freezing on me because that's what it's been doing, freezing it on zero processing for hours. So I just have to delete it. So there you go, all out of a paint chip. Cute, right? Adorable. And last but not least, where are we with time? Because I'll make the other things in the next video and just put my cover on my lace jar. Let me just check time. I am at 42, this'll be the last item. And yeah, because this is the quickest. This is just tracing paper, and I am going to fold it up like so. I'm just going halfway with this because I don't need such a big pocket. And I'm just going to take my paper trimmer because I, you know me, I don't cut very straight. I don't know why my videos take so long but they do. So I took that off and I'm also going to take this off. This top, it's not gonna fold over. It's just gonna go like that and save these, <laughs> obviously. Put them through your embossing machine, die cut machine, what have you. So now I've got my little square here. I'm going to take my faux washi and I am simply going to place it on both sides. Well, first I'm gonna glue it and you can just glue it. You don't have to put washi, but the glue shows and it kind of makes it look funky. So go all the way up very, very close to the edge. And this is fabulous for packaging. Like if you wanted to package or send something pretty to somebody like some laces, you know, for those of you that sell on Etsy, this would be a fabulous thing to put your items in. And very simple, especially if you print on doilies, <laughs> which I know a lot of you are because I see it <laughs> and I am so excited. Like you have no idea, no idea. My, um, yeah, I've got like, I forget. I don't even remember, but there's like, I don't know, 1400 people who have viewed that video. That's a lot for me, my goodness. I was getting like 33 views before that video. But yeah, and I have another way, which I don't have time today, but 
Uh, perhaps I'll do it when, yeah, I'm waiting for a tool to come to be able to show you um, what I'm going to do. But as you can see, you can see the glue. It will dry clear, but it kind of, the edge just doesn't look finished. Um, it kind of wrinkles up a little bit. And for the extra sturdiness, it's worth it to just put the, the washi. And, and mostly I'm doing it for decorating. And you can use your own washi. You don't have to use homemade washi, but why buy washi when you can make it and match it to your project? You know? I'm just going to take that and... Oh, it wiped off with my finger. Usually I will use a white eraser, but that just came right off. So now I've got my two sides glued. I'm going to take my faux washi. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to put it along this side. Now the thing is that you have to remember is you have to get it so that when you fold it over, you're not going to go past that line or you'll see it. So you want to get it on there as close as you can so that when you fold it over, you're not going to see any, you know, white on this edge. So then you just go straight down like that and you cut it. And it would have been easier if I had cut it prior to, but there's that. And you can do along the bottom, um, the top. I mean, the sides, whatever, with the washi, and just looks so cute. It really does. That piece is too short. So I'll just take this piece. I'm sorry if I'm hurrying. If you ever have any questions, just leave them in the description box. I'll be happy to answer them. And I am trying very, very, very hard to get to everybody's um, comments in the last five weeks. And hello, hello, hello to all of my new subscribers. I've been to your channels. Those of you who have left me comments that you have a channel. I have been, I have subscribed, and I am very excited for you. Um, and for me, because my goodness, you can, a lot of you have so many great ideas. So yeah. So I'm just going to snip that off and put this back on here. I'll fix it later. And then I'm going to fold this over so I don't go past the line. And now what I have is a really pretty envelope and I'm just going to run a piece across the bottom. Let me just grab another piece. You get a lot of washi out of one. I mean... You know, I cut it at an inch and a half an inch. So I'm going to put the half inch across the bottom. Like so. I think this one's not straight. I'm taking it off. It's And I mean, it's very forgiving. Now, I don't know how much more forgiving it would be on paper, but, and I typically will line it up. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I'll line it up on here. That way I know I'm, I'm, I'm putting it on right. Bring it down a little bit so that you can see that line and you're lining it up right. I'm gonna put it right on that line. Oh, oh dear. See, if, if I wasn't on camera, I'd be zipping through this. Well, I hope I've inspired you in some way today. And if I have, please consider subscribing Leave me a comment. And for those of you who are returning, thank you, my family. I love you all so much. 
You really are wonderful people. And now you've got this cute little envelope, which I am going to do the same thing on the bottom as I did. See, now I can see that white. All you have to do is peel it off. I'm not gonna do it now, but all you have to do is peel it off and get it on straight. I'll peel it off now, but I'll do it off camera. Put the other piece on. Or maybe not, because then you won't see the finished product. <laughs> or you could see the finished product on my next video. But So, yeah. And don't worry about wasting a piece, because like I said, 8.5 by 11 gives you a ton of washi. That's the nice thing about making this, is you can print it over and over and over again. So let me just do this. I'm so worried about the timing. Oops. Now I'll be able to do it right. So as long as, oops, that's the side, not the bottom. I suppose you could put one piece on one side and then go ahead and put that piece on the back side so that, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about it folding over exactly evenly. That's probably the best way. Or... Don't do it while you're on camera. <laughs> As you can see, I'm having a tough time doing it on camera. And these are a mass make as well. You can mass make these up so fast. And there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do these. So I'm gonna leave that like that and then I'll put another piece, I'm gonna put another piece across the bottom, but what I'm gonna show you is something you can do with your doily that you printed. And I'm just gonna make sure that I'm folding this exactly in half. Like so. And then this is going to go here on the back. Like that. But you're not going to glue the front because you want to be able to lift that up. And I'll put another piece of washi on the bottom and show you in the next video. And then just take your art glitter glue. I find that works best on tracing paper. It won't come off, I promise you. But I have a whole bunch of ideas with printed doilies. A whole bunch. Because I use doilies in a lot of things, and ever since I started printing on them, I come up with even more ideas. They're so pretty, so versatile. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply place this across the top, trying to make sure it's even. And then all I'm going to do now is take and just trim this here. And I'm going to trim this here. Then I'm going to fold this down. 
and I'm just going to leave that. I like the way it looks. Okay, so I just have to trim that little piece at the end off right here. And there you go. So then you lift it up and you've got this cute, if I didn't glue it shut, no, nope. you've got this cute little pocket. And I will show you, you could actually um, glue something on the inside if you wanted to, um, but I don't think it's necessary because then you're just gonna take some tags. I'll just take this one for example, maybe if it fits. No, it doesn't fit that way. Oh dear. Um, of course, let me just show you here. I'll put this one here. Is that not adorable? So cute. And you can see through it. And you could put a couple on the back or back these with something pretty so that if you're clipping it inside your journal or putting it in a pocket, it looks nice. Um, let me see. I'll just do a pumpkin on the other side. Push that down in there like that. And then you've got your little, you know, it's so pretty. I love the doily. And this will go along the bottom. And it all matches because I used all matching wallpaper. I mean, um, homemade washi. And then I printed it on the doily. And that's it. I'll show you what it looks like in the next video. Until next time. So let's do a recap of what we've done. We made this. We made this. We made this little tag. We zhuzhed that up. And we zhuzhed this one up. Like so. I put a little bow in the tag. It's a little button on the envelope, a little bit of lace, a flower, a doily, and that goes right over your page. So that's what we did today. And we used our faux washi, which is so fun. I have so much more. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video today. And I hope that you all stay well for all of us in Florida. Good luck, be safe, be well, and know that I love you and God bless. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.